Uh, you're the new student, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. What's your name again? Adriana. Cool. Well, my name's Josh. I'm actually the CA for the building here. Sorry I wasn't here to get you acquainted and all that. Oh, when you moved in. it's not a big deal. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, uh, what did you transfer here for? Oh, I, uh, I was in a lab program at UCF. And, uh, yeah, I just, you know, enjoyed it in school. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, I gotta take this. I'll see you around, though, right? Yeah. I'll see you around. You seem as enthusiastic about pre-prosecution assembly as I do. <laughs> yeah, not so much. It's a drag, isn't it? I'll let you in on a little secret, though. I know this guy. He lets me copy all of the homework. And some say he's really smart. Really, now? Not like a bright bulb like you would be interested in cheating, though. <laughs> you say that as if you know all of my secrets. <laughs> Maybe I do. I I'm Tony, by the way. Adriana. Pre-law, I take it. How did you guess? Fortune tellers run in the family. I see. Seriously, though, if you ever need any help, let me know. I've done all this stuff. All right, I'll let you know. I'm just curious. You new here? I am. From? Florida. 
UCF. <laughs> Explains the tan. <laughs> right on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I gotta go get some things. Uh, I'll see you around, I hope. Well, we do have class together. So you did notice. <laughs> All right, I'll see you around. Bye. I didn't know there was such a thing as student admiring art not required for homework. Oh yeah, I was just looking. Are you here for the art program? Embarrassed to say, but I didn't know that you offered an art program here. <laughs> I'd like to think of it as a blessing in disguise. The school obviously posters for other majors, but the art program here definitely gives you a great exposure to a real world art profession. Really? Oh sure, are you an artist? I do try. I'll say that. I bet you're fantastic. You've never even seen my artwork, though. Well, why not? Well, I... I guess... Are you taking any art classes? <sighs> I wish I were. But no. Listen, how about you sign up for my class? It's once a week. It starts at 9 a.m. until about now. Well, I... Are you free? For the time frame, yes. <laughs> but I'm already loaded to the max with credits. Free law. Oh, no. Free law? You know what? Do you think my class would be something you'd like to take? Well, yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. But... But nothing. I really need an enthusiastic artist in my class to help inspire others. So, what's your name? Adriana. Summerson. Hello, well, Adriana. I'm Professor Lynch. She can call me David. Okay. I'll go ahead and work things on the academic end, and you'll have no need to worry about your credit load. I'm capable of pulling a few strings around here. Well, thank you. No, thank you. You're the one doing me a favor. I'll look forward to it. Remember now. 9 a.m. today, next week. Will do. Look forward to seeing you. Bye now. No, Mom. It's only been a week, for God's sakes. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's probably the same program as UCF. I, I don't know. Maybe it's custom? Anyway, Mom, I gotta go. I'm working on some homework. Honestly, Mother, do you think I would cheat again after getting caught? No, I'm not going to get expelled. No, I'm not, because I'm not cheating. I've, I've really gotta go. Okay, bye. Homework.
Bye. Is your mom busting your chops again? <laughs> when is she not? Do you miss them? Not really. I don't miss mine either. Yeah. So, uh, I saw Tony talking to you at lunch yesterday. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I should warn you. He's a bit of a dog, you know? I don't really know him very well. Well, I'd stay away from him if I were you. We're just friends. That's what they all say. Can you hit the TV? I've got class at 8 tomorrow. Yeah, no problem. Hey, you. Watch it. You can poke an eye out with those things. Not unless I aim for those pretty eyes of yours. Flatterer. <laughs> you finished the homework for Bambrick? Yeah, just barely. This morning. Cutting it pretty close, I see. That's what I do. <laughs> It's David. Oh, okay. David. So I can expect you in my class tomorrow morning? Yeah, absolutely. It's actually been a while since I've been able to take my portfolio out, so I'm looking forward to it. Excellent. Uh, I just finished settling the academic aspects. You are now officially a closet case artist. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. I uh, actually I have to get to class. Oh, well, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow then. Right. Jerk. Why you looked about me? What did he want with you? Uh, nothing really. He just uh, signed me into his class tomorrow morning. But he's an art teacher. And I am an aspiring artist. Well, what about your workload? Isn't it full? Well, yeah, but he said he pulled some strings or something. I don't know what he did. You haven't heard the stories, have you? Stories? I wouldn't deal with that guy. He's a crazy character. I mean, the guy was investigated for a missing student. Some kids say that he and this girl got way too close and she just disappeared. Okay, what does that have to do with him? People disappear every day. You don't get it. It was weird. The girl who went missing left all these notes confessing her love to the professor and all this crazy shit. Crazy in what way? I don't know how much of it was rumors, but I remember seeing his mug on the news because of police investigation. Creepy. I'm serious. I just keep a safe distance. Well, maybe I will. We should get going. We're going to be late. Let's go. I didn't know you were an artist. Sometimes we get caught up in looking too deeply at shades and tones that we forget our composition. Why do you think we spend so much time working with blind contour drawings? We are supposed to be training our brains to draw everything we see. My hopes are that by the end of the semester I won't have to remind you of these things. That they will be natural when you move your hands across your paper or canvas. What is it they tell you, students? Turn your cell phones off before class? Sorry. I forgot to turn it off. How's it coming? Well, it's been a while since I've drawn like this. So? So it's taking me a lot longer than I'd like. Let's see here. Mm. It's a great start. I can see it's you. Which is excellent, considering it's a self-portrait. 
Yeah, well, I don't know where to go next. I have the basic structure down. Here, try this. You see? I don't know. Smudges. I don't know. Well, the more graphite you move your hands across, the more it smudges the fine details of your work. So I should move across and down. This way? Exactly. So glad you're here, though. It's a nice feeling to have a student in class that knows what they're doing. I've got to admit it, Adriana, this is extraordinary work. Thank you. No, I really mean extraordinary. I had no idea. Well, thanks. It really is a damn shame that you're not an art major. I know. Please, if you don't mind me asking, why not? Why aren't you? I mean, I can tell there's a real passion here. Well, my parents are expecting me to finish law school. I see. I can tell you a thing or two about parents. My parents forbid me to go to art school. They expected me to work in a coal mine, just like my father. But I love the art. I love that feeling of placing a brush on a canvas. I just wasn't going to do it. So what did you do? I ran away from home. And your parents? They've refused to talk to me since. I'm sorry. No worries. I just don't want to see you taking the path of least resistance because it avoids a few palms along the way. And pardon the cliche, but I think you should follow your heart. You can't go to sleep at night if your heart is not what you do for a living. Well, my parents are pretty rigid people, you know? Adriana, I don't mean to tell you what to do. I only hope to inspire you to do what I think the both of us know that you should be doing in the first place. Well, your input does mean a lot, so thank you, Professor. How many times must I tell you it's David? David. So you don't find it the least bit interesting that her brother winds up missing too? And that's after he starts looking into the missing persons case? No. The guy's not a psycho. Then all is interest in your work. You don't find it fishy at all? No, I really don't. I think I get it. Okay. The guy is a kind, compassionate teacher who is very interested in his students' work. You. He's interested in you. And that's it. Where's all his interest in the other students? You said it yourself. He doesn't even look twice at anyone else's work. Seriously. You're nuts. You're like some crazy 
conspiracy theorist guy. Hardly. I just... I just don't want anything to happen to you, that's all. Nothing is going to happen to me. Anyhow. So you going to the party tonight? We need to know before we buy the stuff. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to have time. Well, I have to finish Buckley's paper tonight. And I wanted to get some work done on my self-portrait. I'm on such a roll, it feels so good to finally be drawing again. Well, I can't help you with the drawing. I flat out suck at it. But I got all the research done for Buckley's paper if you want it. I should probably do it on my own. Why don't you just let me help you? It's complicated. What's it not with you? Good point. <laughs> so you in or not? Sure. Count me in. I'll, uh... Do the paper tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> That's the spirit. Okay. <laughs> Why aren't you inside? It's not really my scene in there, you know? Come on, you're just being antisocial. No. Nah. Okay. It's too cold out here. Yes, true. 
Outside is much colder than inside. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm used to Florida weather. <sighs> it's gotta be like a hundred there right now. You miss it, don't you? I don't know. Is that weird? No, not really. So, I never really told you how I ended up here. No, you haven't. Well, I was expelled from UCF for academic dishonesty. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. I never figured. Straight up deviant, huh? <laughs> Not exactly. So why the confession? Well, I just... I didn't want you to think that I didn't appreciate all your help. I just know that they have my work under tight surveillance right now, you know? So why'd you do it? High expectations from the family front, I guess. I can understand that. Everyone. My brother, my sisters. We're good at everything they wanted to do. <sighs> and I tried to one-up them by going into law school. And for a second there, for one second, it worked. I was in the spotlight. My parents were talking about me to their family, to the friends, the coworkers, about me. But the point is, I was so busy looking for their approval that I lost sight of the things that I wanted to do. Your art. Yeah. I got so bogged down in my studies that the only way to find breathing room was doing the things that I wanted to do, that I love to do. Drawing, designing, creating, you know. I lost focus and started to fall behind. So you turned to cheating? Plagiarizing, technically. Oh. <laughs> and now I'm falling into the same situation all over again. You know what I think? Actually, <laughs> you know what I don't think? What? Well, I just think you should do what you want to do. I mean, in my eyes, you're golden either way.
think I've found something else to seriously distract me. I think you didn't get the email. No, I didn't. Is class canceled? It was. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I must have missed it. It's all right. Since you're here, though, why don't you show me what you've done this week? Oh, all right. I, uh, haven't really taken out my oil paints in a while, but I figured this would be a good way to get back into it. It's not done yet, but you get the idea. Oh yeah, interesting subject matter. Yeah, well, he's a good friend of mine. He actually has been a blessing in disguise since I moved up here, so yeah. I feel like I should tell you something about, well, about your subject matter. You know Tony? All faculty knows Tony. 
What do you mean? Your friend Tony was investigated in the rape case. His sophomore year. Involving a first year student. What? It's sad, really. The poor young woman never recovered. She ended up dropping after her first semester. But, no. No, I don't think we're talking about the same Tony. No, Tony Alberto. Um. Junior, studying law, ironically. If, if she was really raped, why wasn't he expelled or arrested, for that matter? She never pressed any charge after her initial statement that it was him. <laughs> no, no, Tony wouldn't, Tony couldn't have done that. I was the young woman advisor. I promise you, Adriana, this Tony character is trouble. Maybe. I don't know. Do you think it's time to seriously consider your future as an artist? I don't know. I can help you. I can help you to get to wherever you want in life. Why was class canceled? None of my students are like you. They don't have your passion. I've gotta go. Adriana, please. Can I come in? We need to talk about something. About what? I think you know about what. You mind filling me in here? About what happened last year? Here? At school? I don't know what you're talking about. Is that why you came here? To play some game? This is not a game. Rape is not a fucking game, Tony. What are you talking about? <sighs> about what happened last year with that girl? The rape investigation? What rape investigation? What, what about what Amber said? Amber who? Amber Sullins. Amber Sullins, what about her? <sighs> she said you prey on women. Amber Sullins is some dumb bitch. I wouldn't fuck at a party because she was too trashed. What? You know what? I got expelled today. What? Yeah, fucking expelled. What for? I don't know. They tried to tell me I plagiarized my culminating dissertation. Funny thing though, I didn't. I would have known. So who, who did it? I don't know, maybe you should ask your boyfriend art professor. Don't say that. You know what? It's funny. That exam was written during an exam block, and in my own goddamn handwriting. But I didn't fucking write it. Hmm. Just like that girl who disappeared. Everyone knew she didn't write those suicide letters. So who wrote it? I don't know, Adriana. You tell me. You know what? No. First I get told I plagiarized the most important dissertation in my education, and then you come in here and tell me I fucking raped some chick? I don't understand why David would do that to you. Oh, so now it's David. You know what I mean. You know what? Just whatever. Whatever. Where are you going? Home to try to explain things to my parents. Well, what about us? You know what? You're a real charm. But I got bigger problems right now. So you know what? You should just go. Alright. Sorry, Tony, I'll go. Fuck. What did you do? 
Adriana? What did you do to Tony? I'm sorry. <sighs> Don't tell me sorry. Why was Tony expelled? Tony was expelled for academic dishonesty. <laughs> he didn't write that paper, so cut the shit. You wrote it, didn't you? Well, that's an awfully steep accusation, Adriana. Who else would have? Tony was expelled for academic dishonesty. Same reason why you were expelled, I believe. I'm not surprised you know that. I'm not surprised the school knows that. Just because my parents pay my way in here doesn't mean my past is kept secret. Look, why can't you just simply let him move on? You'll have all the time in the world to focus on our class, our time together. I'm dropping your class. So you can just put things back to the way they were. It's not that easy. Why not? You have a record for cheating, for lying. Who do you think the institution is going to believe? Uh, new students who were just transferred here? Or a well-trusted professor who's been here for years? Are you blackmailing me? It's a harsh way of putting it. I'd rather like to consider it a way of getting you to see the light. To see what's in front of you. What do you think this is? You're a teacher. And you're a very talented, beautiful young student. You're sick. Just dinner. What? Just have dinner with me. And things will go back to normal. <laughs> what? No. No. What, what will having dinner with you solve? I could urge the school to reconsider Tony's charges. I will vouch for him. They'll listen to me. They always do. And what about me? One dinner. My place tomorrow. Just want to talk with you. And our classes? After tomorrow, you can make the decision on coming to class from now on. I don't trust you. You don't really have a choice, do you? Look, I'm not a bad person, Adriana. I love teaching. And it hurts me to see any of my students suffering. So you can trust me. One dinner, one night. That's all I'm asking. bat around makes you feel like you have control. But it doesn't mean anything more than that the best man won. Bitch, you think you're fucking clever. You better watch your back from now on.
Yeah. All right, I'll be right there. Amber. What do you want? Adriana's not here. No, she's not, as you can see. Do you know where she is? I don't know, Tony. Why don't you go find her? Amber, please, it's important. I don't know. Really. You don't have any idea? All she said is she was having dinner with a psycho. I thought she meant you. A psycho? Shit, when did she leave? About an hour ago. Why? Why? What's wrong? You have hardly eaten anything. Is it not good? I'm not hungry. That's all. We're thirsty, I take it. You know, I could think of a lot of students who would like to be in the same position as you in right now. You don't find this the least bit awkward. Should I? Yes, you should. When I was in high school, I had this English teacher of mine. She was much older than I. Very mature. She was very attractive. She favored me over all the other students in the class. I could tell. One day she asked me to go to her office after class. And she had told me how good of a student I was and how she wished things would be different. Of course, at the time, I was naive and relatively new to sexual attractions. What happened? We spent one night together. Just one. She told me how I moved her and how she loved me. Why are you telling me this? You shouldn't feel awkward around me. The first time I saw you, I never considered you a student. I'm sure it made it more convenient for you. It wasn't a matter of convenience. It was a matter of passion. Romance. If you were unsimple. At the end, we're all animals. The only thing we have to rely on is our instincts, our passion. Stop. Can't you feel it? Your heart is pounding. I said stop. Don't you understand how amazing this could be? Do you know that I would quit school tomorrow if you only look back at me the same way I'm looking at you now? But I don't. Just think about it. You would never have to work. I will take care of you. I have more than enough stashed away for both of us to be happy. Can't you see it? Can't you see it? I'm only here because you blackmailed me into it. I never should have agreed to come here. Where are you going? I'm leaving. Gianna, wait. What? Don't leave. I don't want things to be like this between us. What? You don't get it, do you? There is no us. <laughs> Why is the door locked?
Adriana. Adriana, what are you doing? Come on, let's go. Hurry. Not so fast. I told you to stay out of this. What the fuck did you do to her? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? You should have listened to me, Tony. I never planned on doing this. Just take it easy, alright? Get moving. Alright, alright. Where? Up the stairs. What are you going to do? I told you to keep your nose half. What are you going to do, Lynch? Kill me? You really leave me with no choice. You always have a choice. You're just taking the coward's way out. Turn around and get on your knees. Don't do this. You're not such a tough guy anymore, are you? Knees! If you're going to shoot me, you're going to have to face me. Fair enough. I hadn't originally planned Tony's death, you know. Just happened to work out that way. Come to think of it, Tony's death might come in handy. Oh, Adriana. I planned things so much differently than this. From the moment I saw you, I knew I loved you. This face, those lips, your eyes, and your body. It seemed like the cosmos aligned just perfectly when I discovered your passion for art. It's the same as mine. It's almost as if you were placed here on Earth just for me. But for some reason, for whatever reason, I just can't see how perfect we are for each other. It pains me to see you like this. It's like the pain never goes away. Here I am again. I never told you the truth about my parents. They never let me do what I was born to do, what I was made to do. They would throw away my heart and tell me how worthless I would be unless I made something useful with my life. Their anger towards my rebelliousness pushed my father into beating me. One day I fought back. So I killed him. Then I killed my mother. It was easy, you see. I killed him with my father's own gun. And then I ditched the gun into the ground under the grove tree. I always thought the police would find out, but the case was pushed into another pile of gang-related executions since my dad was into drugs. So I was released to the state for only that one year. Till I got the money the state gave me and went to art school. It was there, only there, what I learned what I'm capable of becoming. 
Since then, I've made quite a living for myself. I'm not the first, you know. There was this girl from a few years back. She also decided that our relationship wouldn't have worked. She became violent, though, not passive. It was easy at the time. All I had to do was use my gifts to frame her. So I mastered her handwriting and wrote suicide notes confessing her love for me. She was nothing like you though. I never felt anything with her like I feel with you right now. It's going to hurt me this time, like it never has before. I want you to know that. Don't worry. I will never touch you like that. I only wish you had given yourself to me. Submit yourself to me. I injected you with spinal epidural. There will be no pain, at least not for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs>